Hey guys, it's Janet, and today we're going to react to episode one of The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. Um, I use, I watched the movies probably 10 plus years ago when I was 10. Um, so this is coming from a perspective of someone who doesn't know the Lord too well, who's not part of the big, big fan fiction. So if you're trying to see what this is kind of about as someone who's not really too into it, come to the right place. I have not also kept up with any of the news for this or any opinions because I wanted a, a fresh, fresh eyeball, fresh eyeballs, fresh eyeballs, fresh thoughts. Here we go. I only know the common stuff like my precious, you know, things like that. Oh, they're elves. Kids are cruel. Who's your footing again, Galadriel? All right, I'm gonna need to add the CCs for this because I can't tell their names <laughs> otherwise. Galadriel, Galadriel. How am I to know which lights to follow? Yeah. So far, I will say, obviously, the this is a big budget show, and the but setting looks great. The most important. Beautiful production, of course. We the graphics are really nice. I'm gonna assume that's gonna come back into the story. Um. Yeah, I don't know. The commander, listen to your to your second. In, it's, it looks like he's second in command. You know, if he's saying, "Hey, let's just camp, wait for the sunlight," because now you're in the middle of a blizzard. That's not good. This place is so evil, our torches give off no warmth. No, I think that's frostbite. This really reminds me of World of Warcraft, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm actually gonna play the new expansion, the Lich King, so. <laughs> or the relaunch, I guess. Cool. That one troll is taking everybody out. Cool fighting scene, but uh, they made it seem as if this ogre was taking out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight guys, and then it took one person to just, you know, you would think they're all on the same skill level, kind of at least. I know the commander is always a little, obviously, a little bit more experienced, a little better. That's why they're commander. But these guys are just getting flown. Oh, well. <laughs> cool scene. Cool, cool though. Do they have wings or? Cute. It's a whole town. Oh, berries. Wrap it up. Let's go. I just thought that was funny. Well, why didn't you say so? If I was the 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 announcer, I'd be like, I just did. Silly goose. Are you going to arrange an audience or not? That character has a lot of flaws. I understand her wanting revenge on her brother, but whenever they just do whatever they want to do without any consequences or consideration or anybody else besides their own directive. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to be wise, yet when their second in command is repeatedly telling them, hey, we can't go on any further, it's as if they return to being a rookie. I don't know. Look at her. Snails are chewy. Nobody goes off train and nobody walks alone. That is how we survive. Hmm. Today, our days of peace begin. Oh, she's not gonna like that. So they're being they're exiled. Lost. They are going home. Oh. Are you just going to stand there, breathing like an orc? <laughs> Over. Well, the evil is gone. Then why is it not gone for me here? You need therapy, After my friend. I like how they're showing each individual race. 
So now we're in the land of men. Basically. Rude. Teen angst. Alright. So, um, elves apparently are governing humans. And they don't like that. Very much. All the fire outposts are being disbanded. We're leaving. I think it's normal for people to feel like they've made an establishment there already. As if they have their own little home. If that's mostly what they've known their whole life. So it's understandable that some are questioning it. I don't know. You're putting her at risk. Sickness. It's pregnant. What manner of sickness? What was that? Squirted out of it. How far east? I'm going with you. What about your son, though? This is a very spur of the moment thing. You you guys got to plan the stuff out. I don't. You're in the middle of making like a potion thing. I don't know. Maybe that's why your father run off like he's done. My father didn't run off. Then what happened to him? You don't even know, do you? Is that his dad? Salty rascals Oof. got the king's bounty down there. That doesn't look very comfortable. Close kin. I know them. There are good people there. He lived through it, though. I mean. That is why I'm here with you. Oh wow. Oh, this is ceremonial. <laughs> they have had enough of her. <laughs> well, how is she going to get back? I feel like she could have just, you know, had these, these thoughts on land, maybe. Alrighty, so episode one clearly was a good was it's the foundation episode. Um, it went by each race one by one, um, which is important because I'm sure the show is supposed to attract people who aren't the utmost, uh, you know, aren't too deep into the Lord of the Rings lore. But yeah, it, I guess I, I do have a pretty good understanding. Um, the elves were keeping watch over the lands after the war. They thought it was peaceful. They're going back. And it was a mistake. It was a mistake. The graphics seemed pretty good. Um, <laughs> Gladriel, she's gonna end up being right, um, of course. But she does have her flaws for sure. Um, or maybe she's just guarded because of her trauma. I know a lot of people brought up the fact that they're making a political statement with her. I think that character's supposed to be male, but they made her female. So far in this episode, I wanna focus more on the character traits and the flaws that i see is as i mentioned i think uh as i mentioned earlier is that um she's not listening to those around her that are supposed to support her and she's very stuck with her ideas thankfully we haven't seen any statements like oh are you sending me back because i'm a woman thank god that's not in there because that would have really been um i don't like it when a show ends up being political completely um i think it takes away from the show like it, it, it takes a lot away from it. So I'm glad I'm not seeing those kind of statements. Um, I'm looking forward to see the turn of events. So episode one was a good foundation. Am I, am I curious as to who the man was? Yes. So I look forward to that. Um, obviously, the war is going to get reignited. And yeah, that was episode one. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.